Well, the political shift in the Indian state of Maharashtra has seen a dramatic twist with a top leader from the state's opposition party, the NCP, becoming a part of the ruling coalition led by the BJP along with other legislators. The move by the Nationalist Congress Party's leader, Ajit Pawar, has now raised questions not only on the future of this party but also on the health of India's opposition as they prepare for next year's elections. The shocking yet expected development took place on Sunday. Pawar was sworn in as Maharashtra's deputy chief minister along with eight other members of his party. With this, he formally joined the state government, which consists of the BJP and the chief minister Eknath Shinde's faction of the Shiv Sena. Uh, this has not only delivered a blow to his uncle, the NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar, but also laid down a mammoth challenge in front of him on his ability to maintain unity among rema remaining party members. Ajit Pawar claims that uh, he has the backing of several NCP leaders, same claim was also echoed by the state BJP president who said that 40 of the 53 NCP leaders back the breakaway leader. If these claims are true, then it presents an existential threat to the Maharatha strongman Sharad Pawar's party. Meanwhile, there is much buzz in the power corridors of Mumbai about the future of Ajit Pawar himself and the rebel MLAs backing him and whether they will be able to pass a legal challenge. Sharad Pawar meanwhile says the complete picture will become clear after two or three days, although making it clear that he disapproves of the decision last year in a similar development. Eknath Shinde, a leader from the then Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena, broke away from the party with a majority of MLAs. Shinde then went on to become the Chief Minister of the state and survived legal hurdles including an anti-defection law. As India heads to general elections in April uh, 2024, the opposition has been making efforts to present a united front, but incidents like these put a massive question mark on their ability. And for more on this, uh, Maharashtra's political landscape, Molly Gambhir is now joining us live. And uh, Molly, you know, Sharad Pawar's legacy as many would say, has been completely undone by his own family. This is a man who's often been called the kingmaker in politics. Quite a dramatic turn of events indeed, Bhairavi. After all, we're talking about the second most populated state uh, in India, uh, a state where alliances can make or break governments. And just look at the statements that have been coming in from Aj Ajit Pawar uh, and his uncle Sharad Pawar. As you just mentioned, Sharad Pawar has been trying his best to downplay the impact of the move by Ajit Pawar, which has been called uh, a variety of uh, uh, things, uh, uh, the labels that have been placed on Ajit Pawar's move, ranging from mutiny to rebellion into a vertical split. Uh, the optics definitely not looking good for Sharad Pawar, also coming at a time when he has been trying to stitch together a united opposition front to take on the BJP and look what happens. Uh, the events that have unfolded over the last 24 to 48 hours have far-reaching implications for his stature uh, as well. Now he says that there is no problem in the family, that he will be connecting uh, with the people and uh, he will be trying his best uh, to make sure that uh, things still stick together. Uh, but at the same time, Ajit Pawar explaining his big switch, saying that it is evident that a single party could still form the government in the state. Right. And uh, just look at the history as far as the appointment is also concerned. Ajit Pawar uh, has now uh, taken over uh, this position. Um, the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra for the fifth time, which has now also set a record for the largest number of appointments uh, to this position since it was created in the year 1978. Right. Right, Molly. Thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest. Never a dull moment in Indian politics and lots happening in the state of Maharashtra. So.